Hey everyone, welcome back. Back to the lab. Here we go. Now, uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to look at the half cells reactivity series and in particular today we are going to be looking at these combinations of half cells and the half cells that we're going to be looking at today is the iron with the iodine and we're going to be using a carbon electrode on those two but the iron combination the iron 3 and the iron 2 nitrate solutions with the copper nitrate and the copper electrode of course that's the um, carbon electrode carbon electrode again here but this time we're going to be using the zinc nitrate solution with the zinc electrode the fourth combination is the iodine 0.1 molar once again carbon electrode with the copper two nitrate solution copper electrode once again the iodine with the carbon electrode the zinc with the zinc electrode copper with the copper electrode and the zinc nitrate with the zinc electrodes and these are the solutions here and that's the iodine solution is a combination of the iodine plus the potassium iodide the 50 50 one's a 0.5 molar one's 0.1 molar the next one along is the iron 2 and the iron 3 solutions that's the iron sulfate and the iron nitrate 50 50 0.1 molar next one along is the copper nitrate solution 0.1 molar and last but not least the zinc nitrate 0.1 molar solution so they're all pretty distinct there one's clear blue orangey and of course a dark color the electrodes that we're going to be using today is a carbon, copper electrode. You know, it's important that when we use the copper electrode and the zinc electrode that they are thoroughly cleaned. So that makes sure that they're back to bare metal and there's no oxide built up on them because that will create a resistance and that resistance will give us a false reading or a misleading reading. The salt bridges that we're going to be using today uh, potassium nitrate filter paper soaked in one molar potassium nitrate and digital voltmeter here and as you be familiar with this by now the VC students um, when we use voltage okay it's the center where it says V and the common Just put that out of the way for a second where it says common black always goes in common if you measure current we move it across but that's it. So what we'll do now is we'll look at the first solutions that we're going to be setting up. And the first one is the iron with the iodine. Okay, so I'm going to pause it there while I set this um, series up, this half cells up, and then we'll take it further. Okay, here we go. Um, so the two half cell solutions that we're going to be using next uh, is the iron. See the iron there with the iodine that's the iodine there and like I said there's the electrodes that we're going to be using the two carbon electrodes and let's get ourselves a salt bridge okay now it's important that when you place the salt bridge in there it doesn't touch the electrodes because once it touches the electrodes basically get a short so we get the ions flowing directly across not going through the solution so we'll just separate those a little bit. All right, let's attach our electrodes to the multimeter. Now it's a little bit tricky with these, these particular electrodes because they're a little bit flopping around all over the place. But anyway, let's see how we go. Now if you get a negative reading, it just means that we've got these wires around the wrong way. So let's see how we go here. Okay, so that looks promising. So at the moment, we're getting about 0.09 of a volt. That's 0.09. Now, I don't know if you can see that. That's in millivolts there. So three decimal places to the left, 
So it's about 0.09 volts with this combination. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just pause it there and I'll get the next combination, which is the iron solution with the copper solution, of course, the copper metal electrode. So just bear with me and I'll set that up now. Okay, so I've brought across the copper nitrate solution with the copper electrode and this is the copper electrode but it's like I said earlier it's very important that any oxide like there has been removed so we don't get a misleading uh, thing so let's pop that in connect our alligator clip and once again like and, and this is the, probably the most important part is that we get a new salt bridge and place it across and always keep in mind not to get that salt bridge touching the electrodes all right so here we have our combination and at the moment it's reading 0.4 volts i'll just bring that up to you so that's 0.4 volts so the iron nitrate combination iron sulfate iron nitrate solution with the copper nitrate um, solution we are getting 0.9, 0 0.39, 0 0.4. Okay, so I'll pause that and I'll set up the next one. All right, our third half cell combination that we're going to be doing is the iron, the iron 2 and the iron 3, with the zinc and the zinc electrode. So here we go. Get ourselves a new salt bridge. Bridge it across the two beakers. Okay, this one's not being very cooperative. Okay, so this one is producing 1.3 volts. That's 1.3. So the iron and the zinc are producing 1.3. I'll pause that now and we'll go on to the next one. All right, fellas, girls, boys, um, here we have the iodine solution and the copper nitrate solution with the appropriate electrodes placed in place. Now we'll get the salt bridge across these two and let's see what we produce on this one. You're not supposed to touch it, but can't seem to separate that one. I should be using gloves as well. Okay, spot on. All right, make sure that the electrodes are not touching the salt bridge. All looking good. And this is producing millivolts here. It's it's producing 0.3 of a volt, 0.3. So the iodine and the copper nitrate, 0.3 of a volt. All right, pause it again. Again, now this combination is the iodine with the zinc and uh, zinc electrode, and of course the carbon electrode there. All right, hope this doesn't sound too boring. We'll just move across a bit. Can't see the bottom of that. Oh yeah, let's cut across a bit more. Okay, make sure nothing's shorting out. New salt bridge. The iodine with the zinc nitrate is producing 1.2 volts, 1.23, 1.2 volts, it's close enough. Okay, now we'll move on to our final one, which is the uh, copper metal with the zinc metal. So the copper to nitrate solution with the zinc 
nitrate solution. So let's pull these two apart. Remove that one. Bring the copper across. Touch our electrodes. This is very poor practice, so I should be using gloves. Okay, so bring those two across. All right, make sure nothing's shorting out. New salt bridge, positive reading there, positive reading there. So this is producing 0.92 volts. 0.9 is close enough, so 0.92. And that pretty much concludes this experiment. Now, um, I'm not going to run through any of the, uh, the, the theory with this. This will be um, with the teacher. Um, but in terms of uh, the experiment, and uh, this, this is basically it. So we've got our half cells here, and um, we've run six combinations, and we've got seven, six different voltages. We should be able to now produce a reactivity series based on those results. Okay, so till next time. Good afternoon.